My favorite part of the show, because I'm freaking biased, uh, Don's Dimes. <laughs> um, uh, Phoenix Suns wish they had someone to throw dimes. <laughs> uh, piggybacking on Nick earlier. But um, as you guys might have heard, Reggie Bush received his Heisman back, which um, well reserved, uh, well deserved, that's uh, reserved. Um, uh, the Heisman alumni are reserved for the best college football players of, of of their year. And there was no no arguing that year Reggie Bush was a video game player. Don's dime Don had to do with restrictions. He was penalized because at the time the NCAA had ridiculous restrictions over benefits that they still have. People don't realize that NIL is kind of a wool over people's eyes. It's not they're still not really sharing the way that they should. But that's neither here nor there. That's another special that we can do. But um, it's about restrictions. So my Don's Dimes to you guys is, is there a restriction on a sport right now that you would want to remove? And I'm going to give you an example of a restriction. I just learned, read today, that Andy Reid got a contract extension. Much deserved. Uh, there is no cap. Yeah, he 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 signed an extension, and um, it's reportedly over north of twenty, twenty million. Um, there's no cap, no restriction on coaches' salaries in the NFL or in the NBA. Um, there's no there's no salary on coaches' salaries anywhere. The reason I think that's odd is because coaches really don't do much without their players. Um, I think some of the issues that are happening in NCAA because some of these coaches are paid incredibly well and these players receive nothing. So for me, I would remove, and this is just wishful thinking, I it'll never happen, but I would remove salary caps from major sports and just allow owners to make their own mistakes on their own they're all billionaires. They're all making money. And see where cheap. it could go. Huh? Some of them are cheap as hell. So Cheap as hell. So that's that's so one want... restriction I would remove. Allow allow me to finish my thought, guys. Um, that's one restriction I would remove because for the longest, people were upset at Rudy and I's big bad Yankees. Because they said, we just bought everything. But no, we actually... In the 90s and 2000s, knew how to construct a fucking team. And we took care of our people. So when they got there, we paid them. The reason why we got A-Rod is because Boston Sussex didn't have the money to pay him. He was going to take a pay cut to go there. And the MLBPA said, no, we, you can't do that. You're going to you, ruin the league. We had the money to pay him. So that's why we were able to get him. And for the longest, people were just like, oh, my God, you guys can pay everyone. But the next 15 years, that hurt us. <laughs> we're, we're paying one Carlos Stanton right now. Oh, my gosh. I had to say that out loud. But um, so that's hurt us as well. I would love to see what other leagues would be able to do if they didn't have salary caps. That's just one of the restrictions I removed. And it was inspired by um, the bullshit that Reggie Bush has had, gone through, had to go through for 15 years. For 15 years, you guys have labeled this man a criminal. Just you put him in a bad light. You took him out of the, the, the alumni or brotherhood that's only maybe 80 guys. And now he gets it back. What is he supposed to be thankful for? It Like, I would, I don't know. I wouldn't have been as nice receiving it as he's been. So shout out to him. He's very noble for that. And he deserved it. He was always the Heisman Trophy winner in our eyes. It never changed our view of him. But it just sucked that he had to go through that. But yeah, that would be one of the restrictions I would remove um, from sports is the salary caps to see what what will happen, what what these owners be willing to do to make yeah, their teams Justin better. Jefferson, Justin Jefferson, Devontae Adams, and Tyreek Hill will be on the same fucking team getting the ball thrown to him by fucking Patrick Mahomes. No, it wouldn't be that easy because everyone Why would have not? the ability 
to spend. Because they all want the ball, Nick. Exactly. You're not. They're not. That's but not going to work. All. Like, but there's not just they one want team money that's willing to ball. spend. They want. They won't get the money without the ball. Well, I'm, if they already, if, if they catches fifty, if they catch fifty passes, they're not getting the money. They already established themselves. They, I could throw all three of them a hundred balls. I can do that. And they Ooh. would. Get, and they would. And they would catch sixty of them. No, no, I could throw them 150 balls to catch them 120. They can't double all of them. But you say no, that but... as if there's not going to be more than one owner. So they're going to throw 75 spend. times a game? Like, there's going to be 55. owners that are willing to spend. Anyway, that's, that's, that's mine. What do you guys have? Do you have one or you want to uh, just add? I already, to I, already, I already know that I do, man. I eliminate the franchise tag. That's the most bullshit shit I've ever seen in my life. The franchise fucking tag to keep a player there restricted under your team for no fucking reason because you could pay them cheap and under the, the fucking shit that they should be getting on a real fucking contract. You get them for one year, they could get hurt and anything that could happen to them, and they didn't get the contract that they deserve. They're basically a fucking lame duck coach as a lame duck player, and you're holding them back from getting paid like they should get paid. It's in this most brutal sport of football. That's, we will definitely take away franchise tag, man. Why are these, Why is that something that you could be able to do? I don't like it. Never did. Never will. It takes away from the players getting what they deserve after what they earned. Um, things in that nature. Like you just put uh, Saquon under a fucking franchise tag when he was the best player on the team who carried the Giants and then you, Daniel Jones get hurt who got all the money that Saquon should have got. And look at that situation right now. Franchise tags are stupid. Um, should eliminate it. Get rid of it. Done. Um, real quick, I'll just touch on what you guys said. I just want to touch on it real fast. I think the problem with uh, the elimination of salary caps is you have you have billionaires and you got billionaires. <laughs> you got Steve Ballmer, and then you got the guy who's worth five billion, and Ballmer's worth one hundred and thirty-two billion. Exactly. I, I think that's the problem that would exist is that you have billionaires and you got billionaire billionaires. Um, but eh, I mean, they don't have a cap in baseball. I, I would eliminate. I would eliminate completely these fucking cor- cor- corky ass manipulated contracts in baseball. I hate the the corky contract. I cannot stand the fact that the Los Angeles Dodgers can sign someone for seven hundred million dollars and not have to pay them for ten years. That's not a contract. In fact, that's so to me that's so bad for the game because it's a manipulation of of of, of rules that don't exist. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, I don't think it's. I just don't like it at all. So, for example, you're able to pay Shohei Otani seven hundred million dollars, and 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 then put it over, you know, a twenty million dollar. He's getting paid $2 million a year, basically, and he's deferring $680 million of it. It, it. It's crazy that you can just defer money for 20 years. I mean, I, I know the Bobby Bonilla contract that existed where he was getting a $1 million a year for like 30 years after he retired. That's fine. I can live with that. But there has to be some limit to, to deferred money for players, let alone signing arguably the best or second or third best player in the league to a seven hundred million dollar deal, and you defer six hundred eighty million dollars. I mean, I think he needs the money now because his, his uh, interpreter gave a lot of his money away. But <laughs> but then at the same time, you know, they're able to then sign the pitcher from um, Yamamoto from Japan, who was getting another three hundred million dollars. So they spent a billion dollars on two deals, but they really didn't spend that. And what I mean, I'm not going to say this negatively, but what happens if something happens to Otani? Does the contract go to his family? Or I, I don't know. Maybe you know, Don, because I don't know that contracts carry over if something happens to someone and they, you know. God forbid. God forbid. I'm just giving an example. They, they stole to, a player for nothing. Yeah, if they were to transition, typically those contracts go into a trust and it would be awarded to their family over a period I would of hope, time. I would hope so and make that's, them pay it because but I just the, think that it, it, being able to pay people like that but not pay them is a is a manipulation of the sport. I get yeah, contract restructuring. It absolutely is. But it's a it complete manipulation is. of the sport. And you need to limit what you can defer. 
Uh, he, I, just I, in my opinion, completely I, limit what you defer. The franchise tag, by the way, Nick, I think they should exist for one year, not the continuation of seasons. Like the, I think it's why, multiple years. Why one year? Let me God be a free because agent. because because they're still getting paid in the top five in the top five of the for league at their one position. Year. Yeah, what if still getting paid? What if you're more? What if all times it, it, it is a form of prison to lock so someone I, in for I, I, a I year. I don't mind going to prison whoa, for fifteen whoa, whoa, whoa. million. I don't mind going to prison for thirty million. Whoa, Nick, whoa, Nick, whoa. Nick, 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 Nick. There's different levels of prison. Martha Stewart. <laughs> Martha Stewart. I, I'll, I'll take Trey. that level of prison. And then, and then there's San Quentin. I'm not talking about. <laughs> you know where the real dudes be. I'm talking about Club Med. But that is, you know, but Donald, that, that exists in baseball too. It's called salary arbitration. First of all, arbitration is the worst rule in sports. Are it is. It's to horrible. To be able to lock are, a are guy in too, for seven years. Are seven y'all years. Mad that y- are y'all two Yankees fan mad that y'all ain't come up with it first and get Otani? First no, not at all. I would never have done that. So he, he, he doesn't fit. He's a, he's a, he, he strikes out 170 times a year. I did not want him. I'm be honest. With you. I don't. I don't. I don't need he another 170 not, strikeout not, guy. I don't want the guy. I the, this is uh, listen. No, fuck you. The only guy I, want, I wanted the I wanted the pitcher. That's why. No, I wanted. the only what the fucking guy I want. I want to want Soto. He's comparable to Soto, and I just because I've been a fan of him. I've watched him coming up, Azuna. I knew. Ronald was gonna be as good as he is. Acuna, I, I, Acuna. I mean, Acuna. Yeah. I knew he was the set of Zuna, who was amazing with the Marlins, and then what the hell happened? Yeah, and then he went. But, then he sucked. <laughs> yeah. Acuna, I knew Ronald was gonna be as good as he is right now. I knew it, but that's just that's neither here nor there. But yeah, back back to you, Rudy. Back to yeah, you. I, I just feel like that's like you know it. I think the arbitration, like arbitration in baseball, is actually worse than the franchise tag. Because those guys, you know what Aaron Judge got paid in arbitration, Nick? Like $7 million or something like that? It was trash. He was getting paid, sh- or no, I'm sorry. Did he, have, was it, no, he got, you know, he had a good number, but his number wasn't anywhere remote to being in the top five positions. Dude, it was one year was, Mookie got about, he, he broke the record. He got like $18 million in arbitration. And yeah. he did the numbers. He was worth uh-huh. $50 million for the Boston Red Sox that year. And they they had him in arbitration three years in a row. Like it's the worst. For, and oh, you know why? Oh, Nick, I, I correct myself. Guy. Judge you know, got ni- Judge got nineteen million. My bad. You know why arbitration is even worse? Because it's only for freaking certain players. If you come from Dominican Republic, Venezuela, one of these countries, you're eligible for a big contract year two. You can go get a sixty, seventy, eighty, hundred million dollar contract. If you're an American player coming through the ranks. They can keep you in arbitration to eternity, bro. It's they, the, they can oh, they manipulate. It's, it's such a horrible and rule. Though. Nick, t- baseball teams, rule. Donald, you know this. You know this already. But Nick, baseball teams manipulate players based on not even start if they don't start the season in the bigs, they got another year at it or something like that. So they have another year of control. So I can yeah. have you not be in the majors on day one and season opener, bring you up in day two. Yeah, and I've now extended you another year, something like that. They nuts. have rules nuts, that basically bro. lock these players in worse than football. And that's and, how many people don't understand. Like a number one pick, is, you won't see him for a couple years. Sport, it's a physical you game. Gotta, it's a physical you, game. You got to maximize the time while you can play and be great. So judge hit, I, judge hit sixty two homers and got nineteen million in arbitration. The mm-hmm. manager got to make forty million dollars, and, and I mean he got nineteen million for arbitration. Like, tell me how that's justifiable. I'm with you. I'm with you. You know, the year before, he, and he was the MVP that year. I'm with you. So he got, yeah, he was he was the MVP. He got the big deal after he was the MVP, but the year before he got nineteen million dollars. Like, I just think that. The arbitration is a bad rule too, but I would definitely get rid of these deferred contracts. These deferred comp contracts are crazy in baseball. Yeah, or, or well, like, cap them, cap them. I like yeah. So I think all three between, of us had. I'm in between them not having a franchise tag and NBA players getting guaranteed contracts and not being able to. Well, to, you want to know what I think about NBA de- uh, uh, max deals? I think they're bullshit. I think max deals in the NBA are trash. If you want. LeBron James should make a hundred million dollars to play. Yes, and I. But you know what? You need to. The problem is, I know you don't want to have a cat, but give him a hundred million. Now you fill the rest of that money with all these bums. Yeah, so this, that's the problem. Like, with that. 
This but is the problem. What he deserves, you, you, you have to give him guaranteed contracts. And then you have another player like Tobias Harris that's making. Listen, close to listen, Jalen Brown's making Jalen Brown's making sixty million dollars a year this year. Listen, right? listen, but guys, 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 right now, hey, we're, hey, we're, we're, Brown could be. listen, but we're towing the line of pocket watching. I don't pocket watch. It's not about that. We're, I don't want to pocket no, watch. No, we're not we're, doing that. No, I'm just we're saying not. we're towing the line. My towing tickets are getting more expensive every year, man. Who do you think that cost is passed on to? What I'm saying is. They have to get the guarantee contracts because the money is being dispersed to the team. No, no, I'm, like saying, I'm fine with con- guaranteed is fine. It's the max deal, like that. Nick, they, Nick they're, they're max deal, the super maxes and all that shit. I think you should be able to pay your player whatever the fuck you want to pay him. Yes, because LeBron's been you, underpaid his entire career. Exactly. Yeah, so, so was well, Michael Jordan. Absolutely. You can pay him whatever you want to pay him. And you figure out how to manage the rest of it underneath that. Because if you have, let's say you have a $400 million cap. I'm, I'm throwing a number out there. Let's say, what is the cap of the NBA? 200, 300 million? Like, no, no, it's like 250, 180. Yeah. Let's say it's 200 million. 120, 350, something and, like Well, LeBron's getting 75 million of that cap. It's 140. He deserves it. Huh? 140. 140? Yeah. LeBron gets 90 million of that cap. And now I gotta fill in the rest of the dots because if I don't have a max contract, and I'm LeBron James. I said I want ninety million dollars. Figure it out. Mm-hmm. You put, you do what you gotta do. I deserve the money. I've been here for 21, 20 years. I'm still scoring at twenty. LeBron James this year, god damn, that man shot fifty four percent from the field. So and forty one percent from three. Yeah. You don't defend. He doesn't defend anyone, but he his numbers like he shot his best percentage since he was with the Heat. Dude, that's incredible. That that's incredible. 56 and he did it shooting. Then he did it shooting threes. He shot 40. 41% from three. That's, in, that's, that's incredible. After 20 years, okay. you shouldn't want to shoot the ball from three. Listen, listen. Relax, guys. Relax. Relax on our elders. Relax on our elders. Um, Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.